Judging by the sheer amount of comments I've gotten about this one, I'm assuming all of you know, but if you don't, some quick background, The Secret World is being relaunched in June as a brand new game called Secret World Legends. And yes, I've heard about it too. Now stop asking! What you're seeing here is footage from my time in the closed beta of Secret World Legends. But no, this does not mean the NDA has dropped. I had to beg and plead and sell my firstborn child. You're welcome. So if you're in beta, don't go posting stuff. You gotta sell a kid first. Daddy, why are you putting stickers on me? They're stamped. Now put on this bubble wrap. That said, let's talk about the game. Whoa, guys, I know you're fans, but this might be a bit much. Or not enough. You know, I'm not really sure. Hive World does have a good ring to it. While The Secret World has been my favorite MMO for years now, I can't say it was ever popular. If this were high school, and let's face it, it kinda is, World of Warcraft would be the popular jock, and Secret World would be the kid who was way too into Edgar Allan Poe. Still cool in his own right, just not exactly the most popular. Hence, Funcom decided to revamp the game a bit and re-release it as a free-to-play shared world RPG. By shared world, they mean it's now more MO than MMO. That M makes all the difference. The goal here is to put more of an emphasis on the RPG aspects of the game, as well as the single player and small group experience. Some of the world has been redesigned with this in mind, such as the Agartha. While it was always kind of a hub, it now looks and acts the part way better. It's also easier to get around now. Thank Cthulhu. Speaking of which, hey buddy, long time no see. Please don't eat me. Not to waste more time, let's talk about the biggest change in this revamp, combat. And let's face it, that's what you all want to hear about anyway. Most of the complaints I've ever seen about the original Secret World was its combat system. For a lot of people, it just never clicked. Luckily, this did not go unheard, as Legends has reworked the system to be more action-oriented, opting for reticle-based aiming and click combat. Skills are now activated by left and right click and the 1, 2, Q, and E buttons. There were also changes in the animations to each skill, as well as how they function. Previously, skills were done via builders. Use smaller skills to build up enough resources to use your bigger skills. Repeat. Since people didn't exactly like that, the natural response, of course, is to do the exact opposite. This ends up feeling more like a normal mana pool system you'd see in most RPGs. Your biggest skills use up your mana pool, which then refills over time. In that meantime, you can use your smaller skills or your secondary weapon. In my own opinion, this does make combat feel a bit faster paced. Enemies die quicker, yet there is still some challenge involved. This may be because each weapon now has what I'm going to call a secondary system. They all do something different and I haven't tested them all, so I'll just say they do add an extra layer to combat. Now I have to dodge, manage my resource pool, and make sure my own grenades don't blow up on me, which makes me seriously question my character's competence. Speaking of weapons, the progression wheel is now gone. <laughs> I know. I'll miss it too. At character creation, you will choose from one of a few classes, which gives you two starting weapons. You will be able to switch to different weapons, eventually allowing you to make your own class. But more on that in a second. From here, progression is far more linear than circular. That doesn't make sense. It certainly makes more sense from an outsider's perspective though. Your weapons have three paths of progression. Each skill cost AP points. Then there's a passives tree that takes SP points. You get these points by questing and leveling up. Oh yeah, Secret World Legends has levels. I think this is to help give the world a better flow. Previously, you could easily end up in an area that you were not ready for, which is typically determined by your gear level. Level levels once again makes things easier to understand. Seeing a pattern yet? Sadly, switching weapons isn't as easy as equipping a new one. You'll first need to purchase any weapon types outside of your starting two. The currency for doing so is awarded through challenges or traded between players. So you better have something to offer or get back to work, you lazy bum. Another new feature is the weapon upgrade system. Instead of having to get new weapons and gear all the time to keep up with your level, you can simply upgrade your current ones. This is done by sacrificing other pieces of gear or weapons to power up the ones you want. Once again, it's a very easy system to understand. Pattern. See, we're doing our own little investigation mission in this video. Meta. Character models have also received a bit of an update, as you can see by the comparison here. It's nothing mind-blowing and it won't make you say, Man, is that the same game? But it's definitely better. But most importantly, the main things I loved about the secret world are still intact. The questing and the atmosphere. Quests still feel engaging and entertaining, as well as challenging. Nothing has really changed there, and that's fine by me. And the atmosphere. That's the main reason I love this game. What can I say? All the horror aspects do it for me. I'm pretty sure I was that kid. I love going back and playing these areas and catching things I didn't see before. It is a treasure trove of references. I think it goes without saying that I'm excited for Secret World Legends, and if it'll live up to everyone's expectations. While I'm sad to see a few of my favorite features go, I do see why things are being changed. If you didn't catch on to the pattern, it can be summed up in one word, accessibility. Oddly, that word brings about some mixed emotions. 
A lot of times, a game's uniqueness can be lost in an effort to make things more accessible to the masses, and can often be seen as dumbing things down. And while things are certainly being made easier to understand, that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. I feel as long as Legends can hold on to that atmosphere that made the Secret World unique, then it should be okay. My only question would be, is it enough? Will these changes be enough to bring people back in and keep the game going? I certainly hope so, but we won't really know until launch. Speaking of which, the game launches on June 26th. You can sign up for the beta at beta.secretworldlegends.com. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to find a replacement kid before my wife notices. Why is our son bubble wrapped? Ah, crap. And that was Secret World Legends. Now you can stop asking! If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for future videos. I've also put another video for you to watch right up here. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter or Facebook for some funny thoughts. And if you really want to help the channel, you can donate to me on Patreon like these other amazing people. They are truly legends.